The Magic School Bus, even today, is pretty much one of the most recognized and beloved shows from the public broadcasting service. The show took place, well actually it took place in lots of places and time periods, but the show took place in a classroom of remarkably diverse school children, all taught science facts by a teacher who was voiced by a lesbian, which I am almost positive is the root fear of one million moms? The show was even popular enough that it has a Netflix reboot out now. And so with this great legacy behind it, current, and ahead of it, I'll be real here, I always thought the games were a lot better. Now don't get me wrong, I genuinely have a lot of respect for the TV show. It's a nostalgic show for me, something I used to tape when it aired and something I tuned into even in my teenage years. I also personally think that its great reception and constant reruns helped my generation be more interested in science. I said this is one of the most popular things to have ever aired on PBS. This show was actually so popular it got syndication on other channels. I remember watching this show on TLC. It was the only show I watched on TLC. It's just, as I get older, the show is a bit too slow and a lot of the facts are dated. Now, the games. I find that the plots that they had for the games, due to just being very simple and straightforward, were more laid back for the gameplay experience. I could just actually enjoy the game while I was learning stuff. There is something about that that just kind of flows better for me than most of the episodes of the show. But before we dive into this, I have to ask the ultimate question for all old PC games. Does this one work on a newer PC? Okay, disc is in and no problem so far. Seems like everything is playing just fine. I don't seem to be having incompatibility issues with a 32-bit version or missing a video or audio file. Ah, there we go. Click on a name or type in a new one. Then click on the go button when you're ready to play. Click on a name. Click on it. I can't wait to go to the wild animal park. I want to ride an elephant. Now the basic premise of this game is that a bunch of animals from captivity are now being released into the wild. But there's a problem. Here's my clipboard. Now where is that net? We need a net? At the wild animal park? Change of plans, Arnold. I got a call this morning from my friend who runs the park. There's been a mix-up. Four animals from the park were put back into the wild, but they were sent to the wrong habitats. So it is up to you to figure out where they are supposed to actually go. I'm Weird Owl Factovich. It actually took me a while to realize why this is dated, because it felt dated. Then I kind of realized, these days, A, they would have actually gotten Weird Owl, and B, they would have made him an animal that didn't eat meat. Dugong! The game's not necessarily hard or anything. I'm not gonna accuse this game for children of holding my hand. But then again, you can also just click on animals in every habitat, and if they're in the wrong place, the game is kind of like, hey, it's very weird that this animal is here, isn't it? It's almost like it's in the wrong place. Here's the thing about this little piggy. It's called a peccary, and it can live lots of places in the world, as long as the weather's warm. Although it'll also be, once again, fair, there is a bit of trickery in some of the answers. For example, in this playthrough, I had a polar bear who was in the Himalayas, and of course my dumb idiot adult brain didn't realize that was a problem at first, even though it's not cold enough. The same with this toucan here in the South Pacific instead of the rainforest. The reason you're seeing a recording of just this clipboard instead of the polar bear actually being in the Himalayas is because that footage didn't take for some reason. Did you know that recording your own screen is really hard for these old PC games? I found that out. I'm a real YouTuber now. I lost frames. So I'll give it this. While some answers are a little too easy, some are things you really actually gotta think about. It all depends on what happens in the playthrough. It's not always the same for animals. There is a rotating cast, if you will, of choices. So how easy or how hard it is just depends on the luck of the draw. And at the end of the game, when you have all the animals, you get this nice certificate that says, congratulations, you did our job for us, way to go. The developers of these games really liked minigames. Not that I can blame them, they're often some of the most memorable parts of these games, and this one was no exception. 
You see this screen here? You see this hub with the clickable mini games? These are just the mini games I find in the environment. There's even more in just the back of the bus. Onward, penguin. Good luck getting home. We have this food chain mini game. And that's pretty simple, you know. Hey, which animal eats which thing? And you always start off pretty small, you smart out, we're smart out. God damn it. It always starts out very small. We're talking like microscopic small, and then getting a little bigger, stuff that eat plants and stuff like that. And then of course we have to move on to the meeting section. This is still a kid's game, so you can't imagine it being too graphic. Crunch. Oh, okay. Oh no, never mind. The animal just gets fucked forward. Everyone saw that. And if you weren't ready to see that kind of raw emotion, get ready for this next bit. Cause it's the real weird bit of this minigame. The weird bit of this minigame is that the kids rap. Start with phytoplankton. It's microscopic. Who eats it next? Well, that's the topic. A penguin waddles in. It's stressed to kill. Devours the fish till he has his fill. According to my research, that's algae so green. It's really very slimy, if you know what I mean. You put a nut on the plate. <laughs> I'm 12 years old. <laughs> then a mouse sits down and he goes to town, munching on that nut till it's downward <laughs> No, stop saying nut. Oh sh! Both of these, both of these critters eat mice, which is correct. Food chain, food chain, eating down that funky food chain. Now, as memes will tell you about the magic school bus, is uh that one clip with the salmon that kind of reminded you that. This series could be allowed to do whatever it wanted if it meant it was teaching you something. So with that in mind, here's a mini game where you have to tell which animal made which sh**. Welcome to the number one game show in the animal kingdom. It's Scat Soundtrack, and I'm your host, Scat Stevens. Okay, here's the poop. I mean, scoop. We have three categories. Scat. Sounds and tracks. Pick and click on one of the question cards under a category and see if you can answer it correctly. You know what? I'm an adult. I'm gonna crank this shit up to hard. Oh, it went to medium first. Scat it is. Now here's a load. It's peppered with what once was a delectable combination of berries, leaves, and some fur from a ground squirrel. Wow, I'm so glad I cranked it to hard. Brown bear it is. So I guess there's one more minigame I want to talk about, and that is this skeleton discovery game. In every single habitat, there are these bones, these fossils that you can click. And so you're brought to this minigame, hosted by Sherlock Bones. Where you reconstruct the decayed fossils of an animal that lived in that habitat. While it is kind of weird that this is in every single habitat, it kind of fits. Not to mention that the Magic School Bus games kind of like these fossil games anyway. I'm gonna spoil it for you, they do a very similar game in the dinosaur one. It's just out of every single mini game, it is weird that this one is just straight up recycled. Every single habitat has a fossil game. All the other ones are just mini games that are completely unique to that area that you can then click later on in the bus after you unlock them. But this fossil one, every area has its own unique animal for the fossil. Oh and no, switching up to hard it does not give you new animals, it just makes more bones. No need to pick a bone. You. It's really fun to go back to old educational games like this. Magic School Bus was actually far from the only educational computer game series I had growing up. It's just a good idea to mix interactivity with what you're learning. Some kids just pay better attention that way. And I can say this with experience. There's animal facts I know to this day because I heard them in this game by being more directly involved with what I was learning, it ended up being something that stuck with me a lot longer. And sure, I can poke fun at the wackiness of these minigames, but them being so wacky also helps them be a lot more endearing. 
The show got a chance to come back, so personally, I'd like to see the games have a relaunch too. Some of the games can probably just get re-released. Some of the games would probably need a full remake just because of how some facts are outdated now. They had great reception then. They'd probably have great reception now too. Plus, it'd be nice to have a version of this game with all the video files intact. What makes a bird a bird? This is a bird, and this is a bird, and this is a bird. Uh, no, Carlos, that's just a picture of a black screen. Time to take chances and get creative! <laughs>